Hi guys, today I will show you another upgrade on a M1 machine. Let's check the machine's details first. As can be seen, the machine currently has 256 gigabytes of storage. Begin opening the machine by removing the display using a cutting wheel. After the display has been removed start taking out the screws and flex cables that are connected to the logic board. Carefully take out the logic board. Remove all screws that are holding the heatsink. And remove the USB-C flex cable as well. Start to put heat resistant tape around the NOND IC. Heat the chip using hot air gun and remove the surrounding epoxy using a glue cleaning tool. Once done heat evenly and keep the nozzle close to the chip. Lift up gently. Add flux and medium temperature solder to the pads, to soften the adhesive and lower the melding temperature of the tin on the board. This will make the wicking process later easier. Once you've completed the wicking process, clean the area using a clean room wipe and PCB cleaner. Clean the rest of the glue using hot air and a special blade, that won't hurt the PCB. Repeat the same process on the other non-chip that's on the back side of the board. If you scrape too deep make sure to cover the exposed area using UV glue. Once the glue has hardened you can apply flux and put the nond in the right orientation. Solder it properly and repeat their same process on the other side of the board. You can now reassemble the machine and plug it in a host Mac. Make sure to run it in DFU and have it restored using Apple Configurator 2. Click on Restore and let the process finish. Meanwhile you'll see an Apple logo with a progress bar. Once the progress is finished you'll see a lock symbol on the host Mac. Your Mac is now completely restored and can be set up. Let me show you the machine's details before and after. SSD upgrade successfully done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.